Just because others think they're strong does not mean you're weak. And just because others think you're weak does not mean they're strong. And that's, it's very simply put that, you know, it's, inevitably in life people will want to put you down, people will want to keep you down, or people will want to you know, make you subservient, or they want to think that you're not as good as them, or whatever, whatever way the ego affects them. But it's about you, as you say, you know, not allowing people to be domineering, not letting them dominate you. Basically they say, okay, you may be a strong guy, but I'm a strong guy as well. So, you know, don't let them think you're weak. Show them you're strong. But then at the same time, if you think you're weak and you are weak at the time, also put a front on. Show them that you are strong and you can be strong. So it's, you know, it's a simple motto to live by. It's, it's basically to keep yourself humble, keep yourself grounded, but at the same time, let people know that you're capable. That you got some, you know, you've got some worth and some value, and you're not going to be undermined by 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 anybody, basically. Hi, my name's Kurt Scott. I'm a Chinese martial arts practitioner from Dublin, Ireland. I practice a style called Lung Ying Dragon Style, very rare and old traditional style from China. I'm also a, a qualified uh, practitioner of Chinese herbalism and acupuncture. Um, we're a very successful clinic based here in Dublin. Again, I would always say that the benefits way outweigh the, uh, the input, you know, or the hardship. Yeah, you're going to have to train hard, you're going to have to do a lot, but the, the benefits are, are you know, they're life changing. So that's another thing I suppose I should have said at the outset that with the Lung Ying and certainly for myself even, it becomes more than just a hobby, it becomes a way of life that's basically um, kind of transforms and translates its way into every avenue of your life so whether it be a walking life your you know so your professional life your you know your marriage your married life your you know your kids whatever everything you do is nearly informed by the principles you've learned from the, from the day one of the system so you use that kind of you know those level of ethics ethics that you've learned to kind of inform your decisions and, and it, it, it does, it builds confidence and it builds awareness and, and yeah, I suppose it builds a better person.